Alrighty, hello again guys. So, right now is I'm going to be, this is a new series kind of thing, where it's just going to be little tips and tricks, something done within two, two and a half minutes, really quickly, show you how to do some cool things in Max. For this one, it's just going to be using Max's Quicksilver hardware renderer to render out stylized, I guess, renders very quickly and very easily with a bunch of presets. Um, so, this can be done in 2013 and 2012. 2012 doesn't have as many options as 2013 as I'm using right now. So I'm just going to use 2013 to show you the options that 2013 gives you. 2012 gives you about the first half of 2013's new options. So firstly what we're going to do for this is just create little boxes and a little plane. And let's go with something a bit more extended primitives. Like Gang God, I haven't used one of these in a long time. There it is. That's what I wanted. Forgot how to use that one. Alright, so we just have three random things here. Ring wave. I have no idea what it is, but I want to use it. What is that? That's kind of cool. Now let's extrude that out a bit. Because I'm sorry. Extrude. Did extrude get changed? I can't remember. I thought extrude was one of them. Well, oh, there it is. Wait. I mean, man, I'm on meters right here. I don't know why. All right. Anyway, so we'll do this, and now we're gonna do some quick stylized rendering with it. So, firstly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make sure, since it's Quicksilver hardware render, since it's the render they use for the viewports, it's very simple that it should be in here. So, really, all we do is under the realistic lighting go under stylized and we change some of these here so we can go graphite and it should as you can see changes it up like this however what I'm just going to show you is when you render it if you hit F9 you render it you still see this what we want is we want this in here now this is pretty simple to do so we go to our render setup under F10 and under our common tab we drop down to assign renderer and we pick the Quicksilver hardware renderer Press OK, and now if we hit render, I forget to set up some parameters here. So under the renderer, I think it's renderer, or is this renderer? Yeah, it's renderer right here. In the renderer right here, you have many different options right here. And as I said, we can do the graphite one we showed you, I'm showing on here. Looks pretty similar. Oh, that's because I think I have edge faces turned. Yeah, I have edge faces graphite right like that. Um, and then you do edge faces on it. So really this can show you, give you a quick little easy screenshot as well. One thing that's very nice to do, not mean to hit my hit list. I am so sorry about that. Um, what you can do is you can just do where the heck is realistic. Easy way to do wireframe renders. Okay, realistic edge faces. This I want to go back to realistic. And you hit render. And there you go, you have your wireframes on it. Very simple to do. You literally take a screenshot of your back or of your viewport like this instantly if you use that. So we'll just go back here. Quick silver hardware render, set it up whatever you would want in here. My favorite one is clay or ink. So I'm just gonna render a quick clay one. It's out the edge faces. So we render that out. Looks like that. Or the ink one. The ink one's very good for making it look like a concept art style thing. But uh, yeah, hope you learned something new. And there is how to use a Quicksilver hardware render to make up some pretty cool quick renders of your viewport or even screenshots with your wireframe. So, anyways, see you next time and hope you enjoyed it.